What's up guys, it's me Jeremy. Halfway through 2013, Riot released a sneak peek of an upcoming champion that ended up being one of the bigger mistakes they had made in recent years. It was the first look at Ao Shin, which we recently talked about as a pivotal moment in Riot's growth as a developer in a previous video. Today we want to shine the spotlight on Ao Shin once again, but this time focusing on the cancelled champion himself. Since we've recently made big changes to the way we produce our content, I thought it would also be a great opportunity to try applying our new production style to my old favorite series. And so today we're talking about what Ao Shin, and by extension, what Aurelian Soul could have been. Ao Shin originally was controversial not because the concept was bad, in fact, the exact opposite was true. Riot approached the player base and started to build the hype up for a daring new champion that was unlike anything ever released in the game thus far at the time. He wouldn't have been the first dragon to grace Summoner's Rift, but his concept as a lightning storm dragon would have placed him in a league all of his own. Riot 6-2 announced Ao Shin as a response to the community's desire for a true dragon champion, and in the process, they wanted to push the limits of what was technically and creatively possible for the game, particularly when it came to his anatomy and his movement. The idea for Ao Shin was rooted in Chinese mythology about the Dragon Kings, and his abilities reflected that, with the focus being on control over the seas and the weather. The concept art for Ao Shin gives a ton of cool ideas for abilities such as him breathing lightning, creating tornadoes, or perhaps rainstorms, but from Rioter comments we only know about two specific abilities that were actually created and tested for Ao Shin before he was cancelled. To start with, Riot mentioned that they tested the idea of having permanent or toggled flight on a champion such as Ao Shin, giving them the ability to ignore terrain and walls and simply fly over them. The problem was that it allowed him to completely just destroy all melee champions, since you'd only get hit once before escaping and you could just go back and forth over the same wall if they happened to have some mobility to catch up to you. And as well, going over walls comes with its own set of issues. To start with, being able to ignore walls entirely is a very powerful ability, but ignoring walls also means increasing your vision radius by a ton, and for that, to be balanced, it would take up the vast majority of the champion's power budget. Riot had other ideas to give this dragon the feeling of flight and air superiority though, and that lies within another one of his cancelled abilities. The execution was similar to Lee Sin's Resonating Strike, except with a global range. Aoshin would be able to send a storm cloud in the targeted direction that marked enemies who were hit. Then he could dash to the target as a massive bolt of lightning at any distance, giving him some seriously insane map pressure. But after multiple delays and comments from rioters on the message boards, it became increasingly clear that Aoshin's development was not going so well. In fact, it was having some serious issues. The dragon concept was just as epic as ever, but a lot of his story and gameplay elements were really slowing down the development progress. Eventually, Riot decided that the only way to proceed with their Dragon Champion was to drop the Storm concept and explore other variants. The key feeling that the Dragon should portray was one of awe and wonder, they decided, which is what led them to the idea of a Space Dragon. And from that point forward, Aoshin was no more, and Aurelian Soul was born. The transition from Storm Dragon into Space Dragon opened up a lot of potential for Riot to create some really fresh new abilities, but they still had to nail the movement by making sure his tail was nice and fluid, and that the fluidity fit in with his gameplay. At one point, Aurelian Soul had a body which was described as being around 12 Teemos in length, giving playtesters the desire to wrap and coil around their opponents. It ended up working kind of like a Tron light cycle, I guess, where you could block or maybe trap enemies inside your tail, but it ended up taking a lot of his power budget to give him the speed necessary to pull it off, while also causing major issues when it came to hiding in bushes. Riot also played with the idea of flight in a similar way to what they did with Ao Shin, for example, giving him an ability which gave him a charge when he leveled up that would allow him to quickly jump to anywhere on the map, with the ability being both uninterruptible and making him untargetable during the travel time, but again, that ability just didn't work out. 
The solution to Aurelian Soul's core gameplay was created by Riot Rapid Llama, who stumbled upon the orbiting stars as a way to place the focus on Aurelian Soul's movement, while also demonstrating how he effortlessly wields the awesome cosmic power. This movement-based gameplay did end up eating a big share of his power budget, and as a result kind of forced him to have a somewhat underwhelming ultimate in the process, but overall, Riot managed to get the concept across quite well. You could argue that it might have been better received if they hadn't built up so much hype for Aoshin originally, but it's fair to say that Aurelian Soul did end up as a success. I hope you guys enjoyed this inside look into the development for Aoshin and Aurelian Soul. We did of course switch up the format to make it a lot more concise while still containing just about all the information we could find. So definitely let us know if you enjoyed this new style, this new format. As well, all of the sources that we used to find the information we talked about in this video can be found in the description, so check them out if you maybe want to do your own research. Either way, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.